Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome to this week's behind the scenes look at Super Voxel World. Last week we took a look at some of the new tower defense features, as well as the new rideable dragon mount, and in this week's video we're going to take a look at a feature that I am really excited about, which is the ability to code in-game using JavaScript. Now what this means is that you can write scripts to, say, spawn objects, modify how the player moves, you can script events, add dialogue options, change the way AI be behaves, you could even create an entirely new game mode. There's just so much that you can do with this, and my favorite part about it is that you can do it all from right within the game and really see your code come to life. Uh, if you've ever used Unity 3D or JavaScript before, then you'll be able to jump in and start using this right away. But if you're not that familiar with programming or game development in general, I think this is a really cool way to learn how to program as you do get to see your results in a 3D environment as opposed to, say, a console or even a web page. Now, to get started, all you have to do is open your inventory and settings screen by hitting the tab key, and you'll notice this new code editor button right here. Uh, click that, and that's where you can enter your JavaScript that will be executed when you are in play mode. If you want to go ahead and execute it right away, then you can hit this run key right here. If there are any errors, you'll see them printed to the chat log, and you can also print to the chat screen yourself by using the print function. So printing text is all well and good, but let's take a look at some more interesting uses of scripting. Um, if you've ever used Unity 3D before, then you'll be familiar with what's called the update loop. And this is a function that is called every single frame of the game. So what that means is that if your game is running 60 frames per second, then this function will be called 60 times within that second. Uh, so here's usually where you would check for user input, like if a player is holding down a key. Uh, but you can also use it to move objects around, or really anything that needs to be checked every single frame. So in this update loop that I've created here, I'm going to check and see if the user has clicked the left mouse button. Uh, again, this uses Unity's built-in input function. Uh, so I can just use that, and I'm going to print something to the chat. Now to make this a little bit more fun, let's say instead of printing something, we'll spawn a randomly colored cube in front of our player. And we'll give it some force so it shoots forward. If we want to get that a little crazier, we can shoot out over the player if they're holding the mouse button down. And you can see this will shoot out the blocks continuously. We can even swap out the blocks or something like ragdolls. So using these simple techniques, we can change the behavior of the game. Here I'm just spawning some objects. Uh, but if you click this documentation icon here, uh, you'll see some example scripts that I set up where you can, uh, for example, change the time of day. You can create a piano that plays notes, respond to chat events, and other fun things like that. And I'll continue to update this as uh, development progresses. So I'm really excited to see where you guys and girls take this. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to like and subscribe, and maybe even leave a comment down below if you're feeling adventurous. Thanks again, and see you all in our next update.